tried to warn you, didn't I? About those warlocks. And where the fuck were you with the diamonds? The pilot left us behind. Told you you would if you couldn't pay me. And the soul was so I don't know if any of the other guys made it. Back from the plane of the assassination of us, staying on the corner of the plane. Bit of a scam, a bit of a country. You dumb. Audrey. Locator Beacon puts you at a decommissioned prison five kilometers north of the brewery. It seems the Jackal's been using it to help refugees leave the country. He's about 70 meters east of you, but his signal is dissipating into some kind of temporal interference. These walls look pretty well aged from years of jungle rot. I should be able to disrupt the molecules slightly with high frequency oscillation. experiencing some sort of temporal feedback loop with the jackal, but I can't get a clear reading. Try an inverse tachyon stream. This is incredible, but you're not going to like it. You are not who you think you are, and this is not Earth. What the hell is that then? All this time I've been working under the assumption that your mission was a routine temporal adjustment here on Earth, 900 years past. I was more focused on when you are, than, where you are. Once I made the realization, data began flooding into the temporal mainframe at an incredible rate. Transdimensional quantum processors have now determined that your current timeline is the result of a temporal slipstream, created by a long-distance projection of your original self. So where am I? A newly discovered planet in the Alpha Cygnus Quadrant, almost 10,000 light-years from Earth actual. 10K? Has this ever happened before? Not that we know of. And if these readings are correct, your current timeline appears to be converging with your original future self. No wonder this mission has felt strange from the start. And would definitely explain a lot. Except why he didn't mention this during our first encounter. Temporal mechanics does not yield a description of an objective reality, but deals only with probabilities of observing, or measuring, various aspects of energy quanta. Remember, time and perception is actually an illusion, created by the interaction of sentient energy, and its relative position in space. Unfortunately, the act of measurement, and even the intent, alters the outcome. In other words, the Jackal's awareness of what he is doing is on a subconscious level at best. A kind of dreamlike lucidity, or déjà vu. So in essence, my original future self caused the incursion which prompted my assignment in the first place. This is confusing. Evidently, your future self has been attempting to communicate using the Jackal as a conduit. This violates the highest regulation set forth by the Temporal Accord Coalition, and a major breach of protocol. A Temporal Centurion may never contact himself, any time, or anywhere, regardless of the circumstances. I must have had a good reason, but what? And why this timeline? Insufficient data at this time, but temporal decay rate would indicate that you've made several attempts at fixing this paradox, 
and suffering from temporal distortion sickness. Turns out this paradox has been the cause of your interference from the very beginning. I need you to do two things. Do two There's things. a landing zone at Cliff Dewey's to here. The observation is there with a briefcase full of diamonds. He's waiting for a chopper. He's waiting for a chopper. He's waiting for a chopper. They're my diamonds. diamonds. Mine. I need, I need them for the board of troops. So you get that briefcase, briefcase for me. Understand? And there's an APR in the front. New guys in charge, and you put them there. They're together in one camp. Now make up the goddamn master plans. They know you don't think. You could walk right into the bivouac and walk right into the bivouac. Once you're in, you can kill them both any way you'd like. Think of the possibilities. Think of the possibilities. Readings are a jumbled mess of temporal fluctuations, and scans reveal a tremendous amount of data, but having difficulty isolating the memory ingrams of your original self. A scratch of this oily concentrate to the skin can cause a fatal heart attack. <laughs> Over the years, the Bayaka have discovered a whole range of complex compounds from plants. Science is only just beginning to catch up. And whilst one preparation may cause instant death, another is intentionally cut into the skin to cure headaches and diarrhea. The very poisons that plants use to defend themselves are the tools of a good forest pharmacist. His knowledge could even hold the future cures for many of our modern diseases. Nearly 300,000 people have fled the heavily armed militias and government forces that are fighting for control of the land and its resources. In the past 10 years, millions have died in a conflict fueled by small arms and artillery weapons that are flooding the country. For these people, home has become a place of fear. To reach here, they've been walking for days or weeks, carrying what they can, trying to outrun death, rape, or having their children recruited into a seemingly endless conflict. And still she starves. The World Food Programme's Aya Schneerson. How come we have this scandal? That's the biggest contradiction um, and the saddest thing about it that this country is so rich and yet the people are so poor they can't even feed themselves. According to the World Bank, the country's entire hydropower potential is estimated at 100,000 megawatts. To build two additional ones. Each turbine produces enough electricity to supply a modern city of half a million inhabitants. But most of the 14 existing turbines are out of order. In this room, current is transformed into power and then transferred to the copper mines of southern Congo. Is that what I think it is? Yes, sir. A temporal emitter located near the hydroelectric dam. It looks like you've been seeding the ionosphere with antiprotons and creating a massive resonance chamber. 
So the ring we found on the king must have been the prototype. Agreed. You know, people back home say they want to help. Every day I hear it in the paper, on the radio. But they're lying. They're not ready to do what's necessary. They wear their halos and they stand by wringing their hands. You and me, we found a way. Meet me at the border when you're done. You're the only one who can do this. Is it just me, or is this a little weird? This is definitely the strangest mission we've ever been on. I'm not feeling very well. Readings indicate you're suffering from the initial symptoms of temporal psychosis. Your close proximity to your original future self has accelerated the effects of this paradox and the reset point. How long do I have? I estimate four to six hours. After that, your consciousness will be trapped here forever.